Hi everyone, I'm Pat from the Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore in Maitland, Florida, and today I'm here with Gabriella. Hi! Hi Gabriella, thank you for being with me in this video. We're going to talk vinyls. Yes, we're going to talk vinyls seriously, right? Because yeah. we have really, really great, beautiful vinyls for bag making, and we have a large assortment of them. And so we were talking about how do we convey that to you and really show you the vinyls that we have because we have them all on our website. Right, but you can't tell from a photo what the weight is, how how it feels. Right. And we're hoping to have some, uh, like a better so, explanation of it here yes. by touching and feeling it for you. And telling you what I would use it for. Um, so that you are more in a little bit more informed because i know that a lot of you live far away right not everybody can come in but you do have access to our website um so we're going to go through and we're going to describe we have we don't have all of them in front of us right gabriella we talked about it should we put them all out and we thought we would put out the new ones um so we're going to show you the new ones we have all of them online um, in store and online. Yes. They're all here in store or online in two different sizes. So you'll see 18 by 27, which is like a fat quarter size. Right. And then you'll see the 18 by 54 inch size in the description on, on the internet if you are looking there. Yeah. Um, and 18 by 54 is essentially just half a yard. So yes. a lot of bag makers prefer that um, size because you get, you get more vinyl. You get more. <laughs> And you know, if you're making a tote bag, um, and I should mention that on our YouTube channel, we have videos. I have one on, on the vinyl, uh, making a vinyl bag. The six step vinyl the tote. The six step vinyl tote. And she also has- And this a good time to just show yeah. one quick so you get an idea. It's been very popular because it's really easy to do. So the six um, step vinyl tote is the one made all with vinyl. Right. And then we have the five step one, which is vinyl on the bottom. And then um, you have the foam interfacing on the top with right, fabric. Right, covered with fabric. And look at how creative that one is. Mixing and matching, that's one of the great things about being able to sew your own bags, your own clothes, your, you, you can do do what you want, what makes you happy, right? Right. So, yeah. And you can also use up your remnants for smaller projects. So really with vinyl, nothing goes to waste. I use it all. Yeah. So, so let's put this one to one side. Yeah, let's get um, into it. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, so we're going to start, we have a stack of vinyls here, and we're going to start with this beautiful crocodile and you can see that it's got a beautiful like an embossed i would call it an yes, embossed it's like design clean. a crocodile and it's pearly yeah it's got a pearly look and as i go through um i'm going to tell you what it's called and should we give them the SKU number two or just tell them what it's called you could... we're gonna we're gonna link everything um in the description of the video okay. and then we'll just give you the names okay so that these are this style is aquiline marine yes that means that it's a marine vinyl also. So when we say marine, it's good for upholstery. So that you kind of get an idea that um, it's a little bit stronger. So if you were using this in a bag and you see the pearlized. It has a nice weight to it. It has a nice weight to it. And it's, it's a pearly white and it's called, yeah, the aqualine marine. And this is actually called cream, this color. Yes. Okay. So as I'm done, I'm going to maybe... I'll, I'll bring them over here. <laughs> okay. So now the next one, can you see how this one does not have that pearlized look? Can you see this is very, very nice just to make a whole bag out of or also for the top or the bottom of a bag. So it has, I would say, a medium structure. It's not really soft, but it's not really stiff like some of our vinyls are stiffer. So this is also the Aqualine Marine and it's called white. Yep. Yes, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> now look at this. This is amazing. This one is called Laguna. So I, when I look at this, I think be creative, you know, just go wild with this one. Yeah. Right. The, it, the pebble design here is really cool. 
Um, it goes really well with kaif. You've put it with a lot of yes. different kaif fabrics. Yes, yes. So this one is called Laguna. We said that this is the ruby red. And again, this is the eight, these are all 18 by 27. Let's move it around a little bit. You can see, and it's, it's just- It's kind of felt backed too. Yeah, and that's important because when you look inside your bag, it's kind of, it's nice inside, really yeah. nice. Although I have to say that most of them, I don't line any of my bags um, because they are all, they finish up nicely. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bad back. Right. So this one is Laguna in the blue. This is absolutely stunning. That one's my favorite Laguna. Yeah, the, the blues are always very popular. You see, you said it was like a pebble look and to me it reminds me of a, like a watery yeah. look. This is a very unusual color. Then you can see now, you can appreciate now probably why we're making a video about this because um, you see a larger piece. This is this color is called, what is it called? It's just green. It's the green. It's the Laguna green. And I would say also that we don't have it here in the pile, but the Laguna comes in the black. We and, have it here. Oh, you do have one? And it Maybe also we do. comes in bronze. So if you're not sure sometimes, or you have that, see the black is beautiful. It's like a patent. It is like a patent, but it, it's just got this beautiful texture. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So that one comes in the black and also kind of in a bronze. Yes. We didn't bring that one. We didn't bring them all in because we just don't have time. Um, so here, this is one, this is called Payson Brown Sugar. This one is very, very it's nice. beautiful. It feels super soft, it's pliable. So this is very high quality, high end. I can tell you, I, um, the inside feels so nice too. Mark and I went on a short little vacation the other day and I look at vinyl everywhere I go. I mean, I we went to a bar and they had the crocodile vinyl glued on the wall. Yeah. And it was I mean, there's stunning. nothing stopping you from doing that. With no, these, you right? can do all <laughs> kinds of things, you know, let your imagination go wild. So this particular one, um, there was a, a sofa upholstered in this and I felt it and I thought, oh my God, that's the one that we just got in, um, in the brown. The sofa was in the gray, but I could, I don't know. I, have, I know my vinyls really well. Yeah, she like, knows her vinyls by this, very, at this point. Very, very good quality and very soft. And this one's called Payson Brown Sugar. I think this would make a great like wallet. Yes, and you it know. also, this this kind of color, it works well with denim. Yes. So a lot of time denim gets overlooked, but we have heavier denims. We should put them on our website. Yeah, maybe yeah, I'll we, see them up on the website. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting ideas as we go. Um, so some of these, and I'll point them out to you as we go, which ones work really well with denim, and then you could use that um, like the golden colored denim thread for contrast. Oh yeah, top that would be really nice. With these vinyls, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, now we come to purple. Purple is incredibly popular. I love purple. Yes, This I one's do a too. really cool finish too. Yes. And it's again, just, a nice backing. It feels yummy, this one. Kind of like Laguna, it just feels yummy. Yeah, I mean, you can see how it's scrunching up here you could make it into something really structured or it could be like one of those slouchy bags. Actually, you know? when you do that, I almost think you can make a, a bow on a bodice or yeah, something. Yeah, there you go. I never thought, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting What's this carried one away here. So this one's called Monaco Amethyst. And this one Very I believe nice. we only have in this color right now, right, Monaco? I, yep, I think so. We might have to add um, our colorways there to that. So the next one is another aqua, Aqualine Marine Crocodile. This is the teal. This I is, love this one. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, it's very rich. I like and, the little detail is, is kind of pointed out by the lighter green. Mm -hmm. So I think I have a sample over there. The bottom one with the lighter green, that one there. Yeah, so let's point this one out. So this is the same aqualine. And it really does make a great bag bottom. Yes, it does. It's got some nice structure. And look at how nice this is. Um, one of K Facet's collectives, his leaves. And you see how when you, when you combine 
fabric with vinyl, you would probably never think. It just brings it to life. Yeah, it just, everything just flows. It's, it's beautiful. I love that one. So this yes. is, this is called teal and it comes, the first two that we showed actually, the white and the pearl. Yeah, and there might this. be a couple of other colors, but you'll see that on the website. Yes, there's, um, there are other colors. I think we're out of a couple of them, but we continuously restock. Here's another purple. We're always looking for- I love this one. Yeah, it looks a little distressed. It's not as soft as the first purple. Uh huh. Um, this one's called Jet Stream in Lilac Shimmer. It's got that iridescent mm -hmm. quality to it. So it's not as lightweight. So if you're not looking for something as pliable, but something still a similar look, this would be the one to go to. Yes. And this would look beautiful with gray. And there we do have a couple of grays. Um, gray and purple just works well together in my book. You should just get all the colors and combine them all in, in your house and yeah. create. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You'll always use them, believe me, but always remember when you go to order. 18 by 27 or 18 by 54. If you come into the store, also remember that. So if you, if you so want 18 by 27 for scale yes. in front of a human, <laughs> it's a fat quarter size and the 18 by 54 is the half yard. So if you want to do the whole top of your tote bag and you need to fussy cut maybe a little bit to get that medallion right in place. Yes, or if you're making another bag that's not a tote bag and you're planning on making the strap out of that vinyl. Well, that's true. The 18 by 54 is what you need to get for the length of the strap. You need, you would need the, it longer than um, the 27. Yes, yes, exactly. That's a very good thought. So, so I would almost say gravitate towards the bigger one if you're not sure, um, just so that you have enough. There's nothing worse than not having enough. <laughs> I know it's very frustrating. But this anyway. one is really, really yes. nice too. So this one is um, Galaxy Sky. This one is luscious. Yeah. I actually threw this one in my embroidery machine and embroidered it. I don't think I, oh, Gabriella brought the sample. Another so tote bag. And I mean, the embroidery just like turns it into something totally different yep. and you didn't have any problem embroidering on that. It's so super soft. So you see this actually, this here is the Western floral and we're gonna get to that in a minute. This here is this here. And I threw it in a monster hoop. And when I use my monster hoop, I don't need to use um, stabilizer. And you made this bag out of scraps. I made you it got out inspired of out of scraps. Yes. So yeah. So, and I did the same on the other side because I had two scraps. Yeah. Or scrap big <laughs> enough to do both sides. It came out awesome. <laughs> okay, so really elegant. That's kind of lush, that one. It's kind yeah. of like almost like a Tiffany, right? Isn't that like a Tiffany yeah, color? Yeah, Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue. People may ask you if it's a Tiffany. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is very special. In vinyl, black is very popular, right? Because it's yeah. almost like when in doubt and you need another color vinyl, we put black. It goes with a lot of different fabrics. If you're a sewer and you have a huge stash at home and you want to make up some bags, black and white are always great to have yes. in your stash, so to speak, like you would if you were a quilter. Well, this is one of our new ones and I love it. I have not used it yet, but I love that it has more strength or is a little stiffer yes. than the other ones. So I know that it'll hold up really nicely on the bottom of the bag and my bag most likely, depending on the shape of the bag, but my bag most likely will be able to stand on its own. And what's really great about this one too is essentially you're, you have the black, you have that solid black, you don't wanna add more color, but you still wanna add some interest. So you yes. have that pebble that pebble look and I mean you see how it's catching the light here it's I mean got, it's so um, it's so cool it's got a pebble look it's and like it's reptile -y. called it's called eel yeah I was kind of surprised I thought well <laughs> you know what I, I don't know that I've ever held an eel I know what a crocodile skin looks like I'm not sure how accurate eel this is but I mean I've also never held an eel it well, might be very accurate and I wouldn't want to and the other thing is you can feel the texture and the shine and because it's textured it's kind of 
shiny and not, you can really see the texture. Yes. Actually, you can see it well on camera too. Yeah. So this is very cool. That's that's to me the eel is a must have because when in doubt, it's got some texture, it's got some shine, it looks elegant, it's got body, and it'll go with just about anything. I agree. Okay. So now we have just a, a basic silver. This is kind of similar to what we used to have at the Champion. Yes. Um, but it's it's metallic. It's silver metallic. So if you're looking for something silver metallic, this is the one. <laughs> hey, you know, I you know, I love vinyls. I have a lot of scraps of vinyl at home. And sometimes I look at vinyl and I think, hmm, I wonder what else I could make with this because it's, it's so it's so useful. I don't know. It's yeah. like wipeable. It, you know, it, this most one is them, very wipeable. So I started thinking, well, I'm going to work on making some table runners out of vinyl. I don't know whether I'm crazy or not, but you know, I, I kind of want to try doing something else, but also remember that you could make placemats out of some of them. Yeah. Because they, you, you can cut it, you can rotary cut it. I rotary cut all my vinyl. Surge the edge, bind can, the edge. Yes, they, they sew beautifully. A lot of people, yeah. when, I, when I see customers in our vinyl department and I can tell they're hesitant, I tell them, you will not believe how easy these are to sew. They're easier to sew than what you think. But if you feel a little unsure about it, start with one that maybe is a little softer. And this is it. And it's and got this that felt it. backing too. So it's a little less expensive than the other ones. It's called Frisco Metallic Silver. Mm -hmm. um, so this would work great if you have an embroidery machine. You could almost make a table runner for Christmas and embroider on this and yeah, hey, be easy. An yes. easy, quick gift too. Okay, let's on to my absolute favorite one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is like the cream of the crop. Yeah, it's, this it's one beautiful. is very nice. And look at how beautiful it looks on camera. So it's like, um, and that's why we wanted to do this video so that you could really appreciate how beautiful they are. Because unfortunately, you all can't come in here, right? You live too far. Or... So as I'm turning this, I mean, you can see it's like embossed and there's there's like a very clear texture mm -hmm. to this. It kind of has a marine vinyl weight. It's got a nice weight to it. And this one comes, um, we carry it in two colors. Look oh at yeah, the, the right denim. underneath oh, it. Oh my God, this is, this is a very difficult color to come by. I've looked at a lot of vinyls and this particular blue, I mean, who doesn't like indigo, right? It's, yeah. uh, it's what I would call an indigo. I don't know if they called it an indigo. So let me correct myself. They call it. So this is called Loretto, the vinyl. This top one. This is Loretto teal and this is Loretto blueprint. Okay. So I am going to, I know this comes in more colors. Sometimes I bring in a vinyl and see if I like it. Um, and then and everybody love it. loves it. And I then know. they're like, Pat, what other colors can you get it in? So I am <laughs> going to get more. So if you're a vinyl shopper, you're on our website, keep checking back because we will be adding more colors. And I told you before, when I was talking about denim, that there are certain ones. This is one that works beautifully with denim. Yes. And also some of these, um, I mean, even if you're not putting it with denim, but you want the denim look and you're making a yes. bag, you know, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. I just, I don't know. You know how sometimes there are fabrics or things that you say, I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm going to get but it. But I have to have it. This is, that's, this is the one you need an 18 by 54 inch of. <laughs> I hope we have enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah, that's it. Uh, however, having said that this color, this one is similar to the to those two, the Loretto, but this yes. is called Western Floral. And we have this in several different colors. This is one of our new colors. Because um, we've had this Western Floral for a while and it has been incredibly popular. It is amazing how well it goes with so many things. It's just, it blows my mind yeah. because you think, you know, you take something like this and you think you're limited and you're not, you start, you could go, start going through your sewing room and wondering, you know, what does this go with? Um, and if you're in, if you're consistent in your colorway, I tend to be consistent in the colors that I like. So as I add to my stash, so to speak, a lot of stuff ties together. I don't and know I'm sure a lot sense. of people are like that. I yeah. mean, everybody's attracted to certain colors. So 
it's good that we have this in a lot of different colors. Yeah. So, and, and also, um, there are collections of fabric that maybe you are drawn to, like the um, Rifle Paper or Caves Collectives. And so you start to identify if you really look at your caves or your rifle paper, or if you, Tula Pink is another one. Yes. You know, when you look at a vinyl, you can immediately identify, oh, that's going to go with my Tula, right? Yes. So, so this so particular So do you want to start one, with the ones that we had in stock? So these are the ones that we've had in stock for a while. So you would think, who on earth, where on earth would I use this color? And I have a sample yes. over there. It goes beautifully with the RJR's rifle paper. And we look at, look at this. I mean, beautiful. the color is just perfect. It's very unexpected. And again, that's the beauty of making your own fabric projects because you can do the unexpected. Yes. And it's like, wow, I never thought and there you go. It and works so beautifully. And so this yellow is called actually mustard. And again, this style is the Western floral. Yes. So um, this one is mustard. You can see it's embossed. All of them are. Um, so they have a really nice texture. This darker brown is just called brown. Um, so Western floral brown. You can so hold this nice one up because this brown. one, just so you have a visual, this is an 18 by 54. So, I mean, it's a yeah. half a yard. Yes. But, you yeah. know, visual is more yes. of the size. <laughs> <laughs> for, for human scale, this is what it I looks know. like. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't, sometimes you just don't want to think numbers. By the way, the, what was the golden one called? Yellow? Uh, mustard. Mustard. Yes. That one works beautifully with denim because the denim colored thread is the gold. So it, it just looks beautiful. And so does the brown. Yes. And so, so this one is another Western floral. This one's white. So same thing, same weight, but just in white. So it's kind of the same thing as um, that eel black one that we were saying. If you want a solid color, but you still want some interest, this is really great because it has that embossed design, but it it feels like a solid. Yes, and it's a creamy white. It's, it's a really, yeah. like a lush, like cream. That's a good cream color to me. Yes. Anyway, okay, moving on. This one is called Mint, and it's gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. I yeah, mean, this color go, is one of my favorites. It's gorgeous. And here is the gray. So when we were, and it's called gray. So this is Western floral gray. This goes beautifully with um, brown. I was telling you before. Look I mean, at how they're nice. underneath. Very unexpected. Um, I actually made a bag. Let me we pull out I another made, bag here. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know which ones we had brought in, but you see, this is the aquiline. It does and the go brown. very nicely with brown. Yeah, so remnants. Yes, I love this bag. Okay. And then I see another Western floral peeking out from under Are we a couple of those. Yeah, yeah, let's just keep those together. Yeah, they got out of order a little and bit. And so what's this one called? Caribbean blue. This one is a very bright, fun color. Very yes. bright and fun. And I look at this and right right away, I think of that quilt that you made with the parrots on it. How oh, this yeah. yeah. That would have worked with the that. The bright, colorful one. Yes. I know my vinyls well and I know my fabrics. It's like I can put them together right away. Okay. So, so then that would go good with uh, Free Spirit fabrics because yes. Free Spirit kind of uses the same colors and yes, and what they, what they They're very, bring out. Um, cohesive in their colors. Uh, yeah. So okay. this is another style. This is one of my favorite styles. So the next few colors, these are Croco. This, so this is chocolate Croco. So that is a nice. This is very classic. Yeah. When I look at this, I think of pumps, ladies pumps, you know, the classic pump with kind of like the wooden heel look. Yeah. That's what I think of. Just very classic bag. Um, I it would go nice, you know, if you were in a denim dress or a pair of blue jeans. This is really cool with it. Yes. Um, and it also rich. has a really nice back. So mm -hmm. not necessary to line it if um, you are looking to make just like a quick tote bag and it does have a nice weight to it. So we should, while we're going through here, we're going to talk, bring up needles. Let's talk about needles. One right. of the most asked questions is what needles should I use? Um, I always tell people because 
people like to think, oh, okay, I'm sewing with vinyl, let me get a leather needle. Mm -hmm. And I would not recommend a leather needle because a leather needle is kind of like a knife. It's cutting its way yeah. through. So instead of like piercing, it's, it's kind of slicing and you don't want to slice into your vinyl because the yeah. vinyl isn't as tough as leather is. No, it's, I know? mean, it's not leather. I, when I, when somebody says I want leather, you know, I think, do you want a cowhide or a lambskin? Oh, no, no, yeah. I just want leather on a roll. Well, leather doesn't come on a roll. Yeah. Leather is very stiff and it comes by the height. But vinyl, faux leather. <laughs> yes, it's soft, so you don't need a leather needle because so, it's, it'll cut its way through and you don't need that. A lot of times I don't change my needle when I'm sewing with vinyl. I, I and, don't either. Yeah, so like a, a 9014 all-purpose needle usually works for me, but mm -hmm. I have like Holly recommends a um, jeans needle if you're having trouble piercing through um, like a thicker vinyl. Jeans needles yeah. are stronger. Um, and then if it's like a stickier vinyl, Schmetz makes a, a super non-stick needle, which is pretty much a regular needle, but it has that non-stick non coating. It glides through. Yeah. Um, yeah, so normally, unless I have a problem, with my needle, normally I'm between a, a size 12 and a 14. Now, when you bring up Holly, some of you may not know Holly. She, she's um, our fabulous, on another level. <laughs> bag maker. <laughs> like way, way up here, bag maker. And yeah, let's she's just good. Quick show her bag because we talked about Holly using a different needle. So, I mean, look at this. It's stunning. So when you're, when you're creating a bag like this, you're going through a lot of layers. And, you know, so yes, she uses a heavier needle because she knows she's gonna be going through several thicknesses if you look at the straps. So I would start out, I would say on the right foot and go ahead and change your needle if you're gonna do a project like this where you know you're gonna go through thicknesses and you don't wanna have an issue. Yeah. Otherwise, if I'm flip-flopping between embroidery and sewing and just, I don't generally change my needle. I just leave my regular size sewing needle, maybe like a 12. And sometimes I even leave my embroidery needle in there and I don't have any trouble because I embroider on vinyl too. So I'm going between both of them. Okay. But if you're unsure, change your needle. <laughs> yeah. When in doubt, change it. When in doubt, change your needle. Or if you so, have a pack of needles that you've had for a year and you think, ah, this is a, my chance to use them, right? Right. Okay. Um, so let's move along here. Yeah. Um, these are a couple of other Croco colors, which are really bright and vibrant. So you have that same sheen um, and texture. This pink one is fuchsia, so Croco fuchsia. And this one is turquoise. So that's like a greeny. It's like a... Yeah, it's, it's like more a green than blue, really. Yeah, I would call it like a teal. Yeah, but it's called turquoise. So, yes. <laughs> and that's why we're doing this video, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. And then the next one, another black. So again, very valuable. This is completely different to the black eel. This yeah, has got a this larger is felt backed to it's it's got it has a, kind a of a cushy feel. It's got a cushy feel. It's got a bit of a shine to it. You can appreciate that on camera. Yeah. Um, you can actually see the design better on the next color. And that one's called dark gold. Can you? Yes. I love it. This is that one of our nice. new ones. Um, and I love it. It's got, got kind of a two tone burnished look. Um, it, it's, it's very interesting. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to see something made out of it. <laughs> yes, I got to make something. And then and that's then, felt backed as well. And then we have the white, the creamy. This actually is called pearl. So this is the Croco vinyl non-woven and it's pearl color. Very, it's very nice. It's beautiful. That's mint. And then this is another Western floral. This one's called Nugget. So check out again our website because this particular one, I think we carry in three different browns. Yes. There's a darker, a really dark one. And That's then there's a more brown. reddish one. And then there's um, Nugget. Yes. I love this one because you can see the texture more than the other two browns. Yeah. So now we're 
Back to the Aqualine Marine. This is the very first one that we showed you in the teal. Actually, we've repeated that one too. The um, teal? Yeah. Okay, we'll skip over that yeah. one. This light blue um, is called Fiji. And I really like that you can see the texture again, like with the teal, because of the light blue kind of accentuating the... Yeah, it's very pronounced. It's, it's gorgeous. And it's one of the few turquoises, true turquoises, because yes. all these vinyls don't come in every color. I wish they did, but um, if you want a turquoise for right now, that is it, other than the Western Floral has a couple of blues. Mm -hmm. This is the same one, but in the purple. I so love So aqualine, marine, crocodile, purple. And then that one's the and teal. And then we're back to the teal, yes. Ooh, Proc these are cool. Yes, and these we have a lot of, a lot of different colors. I, People were very excited when these came out. So this one is kind of like, I wouldn't say to you, you have to have this in your stash, but if you like really, really different crocodile, this, this one so is... So what's, what's the style? This is called croc. Yes, it's called... Um, croc, croc and bronze. Vinyl bronze. And it's got kind of a burnished look. And this is heavier. It's, it's got it's got nice body to it. Can you see? So the bronze one is kind of the one with a little bit of metallic gold mixed in. It's it got has a more, nice back. It's not a felt back. It's more of a woven back. Um, and it looks like it was brown before and I took some gold and just washed gold over it looks like a crocodile that just came out of a swamp I yeah don't know how I, you spray that. painted a crocodile something gold. like that it's just like it's really cool yeah really very cool. cool and so this is the croc vinyl in topaz yeah so this is a nice this is just a nice classic brown mm -hmm. it's nice to have those again very stash. usable and then comes another one that's like amazing another reason why we're doing this video yeah. is because, wow, look at this. This is crazy. If you're kind of crazy, get this, this one. one almost, yeah, right? <laughs> this one almost feels thicker. Oh, this is a different style. So this is um, the Alley. This is called Alley Suede. Alley in the color Suede. And it's... Um, this one reminds me of like, you get crocodile and then this looks like an elephant knee. It, it does. I was just... <laughs> I was just looking at it and I thought that looks like an elephant trunk. If I got this, I would definitely get the 18 by 54. Yeah, um, because, because you, you want to be able to fussy cut the design and center yeah. it. And if you're not sure, um, well, I would definitely get probably the big one and maybe the small one too because yeah. you want to fussy cut it and you want to have the um you have, you want to have enough fabric yes so okay. we're back to croc vinyl now and this one is aztec see is what's so aztec, aztec about is that? red it's kind of like um it's not red red it's not a christmas red because i wouldn't particularly like it, but it's a nice, like a deep rusty. I love it. Like a Mexican red. Maybe that's why they called it Aztec. And this one, I This I one's love. another alley. This is a classic color again, yeah. but if you want some kind of interest with texture, this is a great way to go. So this one is alley steel. I know who would... It does what's... kind of have a gray hint to it. Now we get to the blue and I, this is my house. This is like a home decor. So you can blue. make your wall gorgeous. out of this. Yeah. <laughs> In a my little kitchen accent note, wall I'm put this. <laughs> Yeah, Mark's gonna like that. This would look this good. This is a really nice color though. This is Mediterranean in the alley style. But you know, another thing that you can do with these, you can make cushions with them. Yeah. So the cushions bar are, stools. Yes. Okay, so then I was going to say this is last, but it's not last. We have a couple more here that we want to talk about. This is the same. This is the alley, so that thicker one. And um, this looks like an elephant. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's an elephant color. Um, yes. But the actual color is fog. So it's the fog. alley fog, this one is. It's very cool. It, yes. that, that one speaks for itself. Yeah. And then last but not least, this one almost blends into our table. Yeah, it's got a very wood 
color, a wood feel. Um, this one's the croc vinyl in a, how do you say that? Sh Chamois. Is that how you pronounce C -H -A -M -O -I -S -E. it? C-H-A-M-O-I-S-E. It's okay. a French word. Yeah, so and let's just take a quick them. look of, we just went grabbing we into went the grab vinyls more. that we um, already had. So we'll do this one real quick. So mm -hmm. this is the um, Keys, Keys Gator. Keys Gator or, the, or 3D embossed vinyl. This is poison green. So this one's super cool if you want something bright and wow and oh my gosh. Or something <laughs> like, um, what do you call those sugar skulls? Yeah, that, that would go really cool with that. This is the Mamba and it is, the color is gray. And this comes in other colors. And it has a nice structure. This has been very popular. Yeah, it's this got one was really, super popular. really nice structure. So for great the for a bag bottom. Oh, yeah. Or I the whole love, bag. I love, love this one. So if you just want to use, I have, I think we brought in a bag with the Mamba on the bottom. If you just oh, want so to use it for the, Mamba. oh, here's the red. So this is a variation. Can you see how rich that is? And then I um, used some home decor fabric up on top and embroidered it. So very cool. And then, so this really needs fussy cutting, comes in other colors. This is one of our best sellers. If, so this one's called Mutant Ostrich in the Glazier Blue. And it's called Mutant because it's kind of got, it's ostrich with crocodile. Yeah. So it's a mutant and piece it has of vinyl. A real nice backing. It's, and it's, it's very a, soft. Yeah. It's a really, really nice piece. This comes in gray and red and yep. we're out of, of some colors. of the colors. Um, but we're reordering them back in. This, this one's cool. This one's Serpienta and Fuchsia. This is really can you hear that? It's very textured. It's very textured. I mean, this has lips to it almost. So yeah, this very, would make a very interesting bag. Very unusual. This is another Keys Gator, and this one is Dragon Red. Because it comes in two reds. It comes in a bright red, and then it comes in a darker, a more... deeper red, yeah. Like a crimson. And then, of course, we've got Caramel. Wait, it's called Honey Caramel. Honey Caramel. This goes almost from black to um, brown. Okay. And then, and then here are a couple of solids that we thought to point out. Um, the Caravels, we have, these are two different colors that it comes in, but we have it in a couple of different colors you'll see yeah. on our website. Um, this one is brown and this one is, the bottom one is Caraval Red. And these are just really great solid vinyls. They have a really nice weight to them. And if you're looking for um, a plain vinyl to maybe play with embroidery on, yes. Caravel is good. The marine vinyl is good. Like this is marine vinyl and Pat embroidered on it. Yes. And it embroiders beautifully. Okay, so that's all of our new vinyl. We also have all of our other vinyls available. They're all available in store or online at sewing.net. I hope you enjoyed our our um, presentation. Yeah, and, we're really um, excited to see what you all make with all these yeah. cool, fun, colorful vinyls. Yes. So give us a call if you have any questions. Come by and see us or check out sewing.net. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.